Welcome to another episode of Quick Tech Tips and Reviews. My name is Tony, and with this channel, I try to bring you guys a variety of different tech-related tips and content. If this is your first time with us, please consider subscribing to the channel and hit that little bell so that you're alerted to when I release new content. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the suggested versus the actual battery life of the Ring Security Alarm devices. Okay, guys, so when I installed my Ring Security Alarm, about 14 months ago, one of the concerns I had at the time was securing my home using devices that were dependent upon batteries. So I thought it would be a good idea 14 months later to make a video uh, showing the suggested battery life that Ring states versus the actual battery life 14 months into the alarm system being installed. So that being said, I'm at Ring's website and I'll put the link to this article down in the video description below. It's about replacing the battery on your alarm devices. So what it basically shows here is the battery level and it talks about the fact that you can see the battery level in your Ring app in the upper right hand corner for the particular device. Now here you have a little bit of a chart, just kind of a gauge that tells you if you see a green light the battery is good and it has anywhere from 26 to 100% and you can see as it degrades, yellow means it's low and it has anywhere from 11 to 25 percent and so forth. So that's a good gauge to give you an idea of what color your battery is and how much of that color is showing in the status indicator. Now that being said, the ring devices, the motion detector and the door sensors both use the CR123A battery. And I'll put a link to this battery also down in the video description below. It says the battery for both devices can last up to three years based on usage. Now I can tell you in my home, my motion detector goes off several times a day as well as my doors are open and closed several times a day, five, six, maybe even seven times. So that being said, based on the suggested battery life that Ring stays here, Let's take a look at my actual app and see 14 months later what the actual battery life is and how they're holding up. So what we're looking at is my Ring app and all of my alarm devices. You can see I have a base station, a keypad, and then multiple door sensors and one front door motion sensor. So let's talk about the keypad first. This keypad has been running on battery since the day I installed it, which is about 14 months ago. So let's click on the keypad and see what the status of that battery is. In the upper right hand corner here you can see the battery level is down to just about half or maybe slightly under. It's still green so it's somewhere in that 26 to 100 percent range. I assume within a matter of time it's going to change to yellow but for now it's still showing green and that's not bad considering it's been in use for 14 months and I have not yet plugged it in to give it a recharge. Let's look at some of the different sensors. So I have a bedroom door sensor. So if I click on the bedroom door sensor, you can see that the battery is practically fully charged. My front door sensor, same thing. 14 months later, battery fully charged. Front door sensor, again, fully charged after 14 months. Now this is an actual door sensor, not a motion detector. Garage door, the man door, same status, practically fully charged. And I believe the rest are the same. The laundry room door, same thing. The living room slider, the left side, same thing, fully charged. And then the living room slider door, which we keep open all the time, is fully charged pretty much. So guys, looking at the suggested battery life of three years based on usage versus the actual 14 months later, it looks like we're well on our way to meeting that three year suggested life and maybe even exceeding it. If you found any value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of my other videos up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share, and use those Amazon affiliate links. I know it doesn't change your price, but it does help out the channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, I thank you for watching. See you next time.